Okay. There were two boys in an escorty, and as you were driving down through an escorty, down past Little Naldi, down past the play park where the man on the bike is there, another statue of the man on the bike. Mm-hmm. There's a double telephone box just there, and there's a chair, a oh. bench. And, and there were these two young lads in an escorty. Add were bowl now. One was real bowl, the lad wasn't as bowl. But the fellow was bowl was always getting the lad in trouble. So he used to always do tricks like he'd always go onto the phone box and he'd phone the fire brigade. And say there was a fire in, say, Lidl. And the fire brigade would buzz up the road up to Lidl and should there be no fire. And he'd also phone the fire brigade and say there was a man up top of the street, up outside the Aldi with a gun. And the guards would go up and should there be no one up there. And they used to sit off and watch the guards and the fire brigade buzz up and down the road. So, they were down, that kind of tricks they were always playing in the phone box, always messing. So one day they were bored. The man was like, bored. This is a... Tell you what, do something else for me. And the fellow says, what? He says, next van that comes along, right, you would jump out in front of it and see how, see how far he, um, when he stands on the brake, see how close he can get to you. And the man goes, no, that's dangerous. He says, no, do it, do it. You're only an old pussy if you don't do it. And the man goes, all right, okay, I'll do it. Now, the, the one fellow was real bossy and he made the other fellow do it. So, here was their van going down the road, lads, right? And there were these uh, travellers from Drumgool and they were driving along and they were all talking they were horse and breakfast rolls into him in the middle of the day eating it and the fella jumps out in front of the van and the boys were too busy eating sausage and rashers and talking and they didn't see a man and he bumped into him knocked him down your man fell on the ground dead and the and the van went over him the, 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 Listen, that was daddy down that. So, the guards and the ambulance and all came and he arrested other bold fella. I said, I didn't, didn't mean to do it, I didn't, I didn't ask him. As they ran to court, and basically the judge said, that, that was bold what you did, and you're going to have to go to jail. So he went off to jail for five years. I'd run about uh, Sean's age, that kind of 12, 13. Yeah. He was about 12, the other fellow was about 14, he was about two years older than him. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they all came, they were crying at his funeral. He'd, he'd two sisters and he'd another brother. And should have family were in bits afterwards. Because he shouldn't have been hanging around with this bold boy. This bold boy was getting him to do stuff that he shouldn't have been getting him to do. And should have family were never the same. And they went to court, should have family went to court anyway. But even though, to be fair, the bad was the young lad who was bold, his mummy and daddy were upset as well because they reared him and he turned out to be bold. And uh, the young fellow went to jail. And he went to jail for five years. And he was about. Yeah, all your fingers on one hand. And a tome. What? Uh, that many, look. That many. So. That many. I know. Yeah, so it was a lot of birthdays. So, he came out. And he walked, he got out, he got the train down to the escort after being in jail in Dublin. And he walked up to the place up where he used to hang out as a teenager, a young lad. And the town had changed slightly, and everything felt a bit different. And he sat down in a chair and he kind of, he talked to himself and said, he said, lad, he said, uh, yeah, listen, he said, God, things have changed. And he sat there on the chair and next the phone started to ring in the phone box. And uh, he said, why is the phone ringing? So he got up and he answered it. And when he answered the phone, here didn't he hear his friend who was dead five years ago saying to him, you got me killed. And he said, what? You got me killed, Johnny. And he says, Shawnee, how can you be talking? You're dead. I'm not dead. I said, I've come to get you back. I says, what do you mean? He said, you got me killed. I was only 12 years of age. You'd maybe jump out in front of that van. And you shouldn't have done that. I said, I know, but I went to jail and I'm sorry. 
said, that's not good enough, he says. That's not good enough. And I says, what do you mean? He said, it's not good enough. The next fan that comes, you're going to have to do me a favour. I said, yeah. Will you do it for me? Yeah. Because if you don't do it, I'm going to haunt you all your life. He said, okay. He said, the next fan that comes along, I want you to jump out in front of it. See, will it stop? And he says, what happens if it don't stop? He said, well, tough. All right, he says, hangs up the phone. And coming down the road, there's a white van. And the white van was about six o'clock in the evening. And the boys were just out there. there a group of young Romanian lads after picking strawberries and raspberries out in Jimmy Cairns. And they were foot to the floor. They were going rock hard, wanting to get back into town. And the man jumped out, and the boys were talking and listening to loud music, and they didn't see him. And next when a they ploughed into him, killed him stone dead. Huh? And they all say, if you go, huh? pa- he killed him stone dead. Huh? Yeah, and they say if you walk past that telephone box, on the days that them two young boys died, sometimes the phone will ring. And when you pick it up, it's actually the two boys. Yeah, ding dang ding dang, do that, yeah, let's do that. And you can pick it up and you'll go, hello, and they go, hello, it's me. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, they're old now. That's the end of that story, lads. <laughs> oh, the end. Good night, Nan. Night, night. Night, night, Nan. Smelly. Uh, Nan. Night, night. Smelly Nan toes. <laughs>